So in this video, I'm going to be doing some pretty fun stuff with the new Fat Twin Blade servers here. I have a few upgrades I want to do, including upgrading the RAM from 16 to roughly 40 gigabytes per node, because that's just the config I have. I also have some little 16 gig flash drives I'm going to be putting in here, and each node is going to get an Intel X520 DA1. If you don't know what this is, it's a single SFP plus Intel 10 gig NIC, and this is just kind of the standard. This one comes with a low profile bracket because if we pick up one of the blades here, you can see it has a low profile slot. And you can see the other one already has an X520 DA2 in it. And that's only because I was testing stuff and that's not gonna stay in there. I think single 10 gig links to these are gonna be fine. The first thing I'm gonna install are these 16 gig SanDisk Cruiser Fit drives, I already opened them. And each node will get one in its internal USB slot. And I'm debating ESXi or Proxmox, but I have some testing and messing around with I wanna do with those. So that's gonna be determined later on. I'm gonna move the second blade server closer and we're gonna install the 10 gig NIC. And I think it's just a matter of unscrewing that screw and sliding it. I might have to take the screw out all the way. I think I do. So you undo that and then you get these little brackets here. And I actually forgot to put the full size bracket on the X520, but these are nicely packaged. I think they're genuine and you can just pull that out and swap the bracket. So I'll kind of push this aside here. And on here we have two screws. I kind of got a feel around for that top one because of the tripods in the way. And there's a screw on my screwdriver, great. My camera is about to die as well, so I might have to cut and recharge. So to finish up installing that NIC, I am going to align it with the bottom slot and kind of push it a bit farther. That's kind of off. I think if I just kind of get it in there, I can push it down and there it is installed. I have to line it with that cut out there. And from there we can take our screw and just screw it in right there. As for memory, it gets kind of complicated because we're going to have two different types of modules in here. So I think the modules I remove on CPU zero are these down here. And I can pull those out and put in the eight gig modules. And once again, these are out of the NetBack 5230. Each one of these is eight gigs and that's going to provide four of these and for two giga modules, for a total of 40 gigs per node versus the old 16. On the back side, I have to take out these modules to access these modules. So I'm gonna finish this off camera, but with that said, all of the upgrades after that will be complete. So the fat twins are back in the chassis. And uh, if we take a look here, you can see two SFP plus direct attach cables connected to the NICs. And these are uh, 10 G tech cables. I also have these custom cables made for the IPMI and those go to a switch that I'll talk about in a later video. So I think at this point we're ready to uh, fire up the machines and see if everything works. So if we start by going to the first server, I think that's this one, we can see roughly 40 gigs of RAM there, and obviously we can connect to the server, so the 10 gig NIC is working as well. If we go to the next server, we can also see 48 gigs of RAM there. Looks like our upgrades were successful. Right now, I'm not really doing anything with these machines, so I'm going to turn them off. That being said, I decided the plan is to use the 
fat twins as my VM servers, and I'm probably going to put I'm probably going to put Proxmox on them and run them in a cluster. And then the net backup 5230 is going to be my network attached storage, and all of the VM machines will put their drives on here through NFS. I think that's going to be it for this video. It was kind of short, but uh, I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.